And I just surrounded myself with somebody, let's say like I met you and you're older than me and I have no interest in like digital media and hoops nation. That shit just means nothing to me. Right. The fact that I could have like learned from your hustle and been like, listen, Buster, I want to be your assistant for two years. I'm going to be your assistant and I'm just going to be around. Here's what comes with that. Being around you, being around your work ethic, being around your mentality, and then being around your network. Because you, you as Buster are going to find out very quickly if, if my dedication is real or not. And assuming that it is, and you're like, wow, this kid's putting in work, he really means it. The amount of connections, relationships I'm going to get, the amount of opportunities that are going to come from that, where let's just say I'm like, you know what, dude, like I'm actually really interested in real estate and you've got a buddy who works in real estate. And you're like, listen, this kid's been assisting me for two years. He's the real deal. Take him on. That's the best thing you can possibly do in your 20s is go and mentor. I mean, like Gary Vee puts that video up where he, that guy says, can I come work for you? I mean, the balls of steel that kid asked, you know, where he's like, in a, uh, and it's like, that's what it takes because that kid realized like I'm uh, uprooting my life to New York city is much more valuable to me in that moment. And you worked for Gary, you know what I mean? Like you're a prime example of what I'm talking about. So really keep, keep that company, find a mentor, find someone who believes in you and champions you and, and get rid of anybody who is negative towards you. Self-doubt is a real thing. I still deal with self-doubt to this day. So like if I have my own self-doubt, I don't give a shit about your negative feelings towards me. Like whatever I'm doing, like as long as I'm not harming myself or somebody else, like if this is what I want to do, I don't care what you have to say about it at all. Right. At all. So percent. I yeah. think that's great advice. And I, I put it, you know, very similarly, but you know, in, in my head, I'm like, does somebody make me happier? Okay, cool. I'll hang out with that person more. Does somebody make me less happy? That's it. And sometimes it can be a trick because sometimes somebody can make you happy 20 times in a row and then they can, then something changes. And that's just something you learn. It's something that I learned, but you just got to, like you said, be super cognizant of those things and make sure that like, when I say happy, I don't just mean like smiling and laughing a lot and enjoying myself. Like for me, somebody making me happy is somebody motivating me, somebody um, who's teaching me things like, or somebody who were, were co-learning from each other, like whatever it is, that's what my happy is. So figuring out what you're, making sure that you're happy is productive. And then I, I think those, those, uh, those terms, uh, that terminology works, but that's how I look at it. But it's a learned thing and you gotta, you gotta mess up to figure it out and just and, be grateful. Don't feel, for your 